here for seconds out with Dean the Great. Looking great, looking flashy indeed. Uh, you ran that press conference there when it came down to your moment there. Talk me through that. Got to, bro. I mean, shit, we entertainers at the end of the day. This is the biggest stage, so I feel like you got to take every opportunity that you got. We only live this moment once, man. It's only going to be one motherfucking prime, one prime card also, you dig? So I'm going to talk my shit and I'm going to entertain and I'm going I'm to talk my talk and I walk the walk. As we all know, I talk my shit and I back it up, you dig? So... And the fact that he was quiet and silent now because he knew I was cooking him like some like some uh, like home cooked meal. You dig what I'm saying? So, I mean, it was like, what else could he have said? I was cooking him. the first 30 seconds. I was already up in that ass. You dig? So, I mean, in order for him to, for me to get up out that ass, he would have to come back with something to say. But he knew he couldn't say shit. So he just decided to stay quiet. And I humbled him last time. So, he, you know. My bad, I'm talking a whole lot. <laughs> no, no, I love it, I love it. Um, a lot of people can't talk and you got that promo skills down to a T, but were you disappointed that you didn't get any bite back from him? I was disappointed, bro, because this is the prime card. Entertain, like, look at Astrid and Alexia. They fucking went back and forth. If it's, uh, whether it's, it's staged or not, they still went back and forth, he dig? But me and him, I got actually real smoke and the fact that now he want to be quiet, intimidation, he a bitch, his team a bitch, everything about him a bitch, he got a lot of bitch in him, he just a bitch. You hold all the cards in this rematch in terms of, look, people wanted the rematch, but you want to go on to bigger and better things. Are you happy to be giving him the rematch here? Um, honestly, after this, we'll see how we doing. Weigh in tomorrow. Well, weigh in, he's just gonna weigh in and probably be quiet again. But uh, it's also like, he don't want to get memed on such a big stage, because if I sleep him, wait, this is Waleed. Waleed gonna be ass up. Ass up, face down. That's gonna be Waleed, next fight. He they're gonna clip that shit. He's gonna be ass up, face down, next fight, you dig? And he don't want to go into the fight after this fight and get memed of him talking shit, because he knows it's coming. So he decided to stay quiet. You're clinical in the ring. I've seen it myself. When Waleed made that mistake, you pounced on him. You made him pay for it. Uh, from your point of view, first of all, though, to make sure you don't make those mistakes, have you watched the tape back? Have you seen those mistakes? Have you tied those off? Yeah, in that fight, I fought with no game plan, no one-on-one -on -one training, no fucking... Uh, we didn't watch none of Waleed's fights, and we just went in there cocky, no warm-up in the in backstage. Now I got a full team, got the best team, not, well, one of the, at one of the best gyms, you dig? The best sparring partners, game plan, so it's gonna be a whole different team, bro. What's his power like? Um, obviously, if his power was like that, then I, I wouldn't have got up. You dig? But his power—I mean, he's got some pop. You dig? But it's nothing that's like, like me. You dig? Because nigga, all it took was one, and he it was sleep. Got up and, went and, and, and thought he was outside calling the Uber. I don't know what the fuck he thought he was. <laughs> Do you feel there needs to be a strong referee in this match? One, because if it happens again to Waleed, he can't complain and say, oh, I should have been given the opportunity. And two, if it happens to you, you don't want that to happen to you either. Yeah, that ain't going to happen to me, bro. So give me whoever fucking... Well, honestly, a lot of these refs in the UK suck. Well, at certain... I think the... P, was it PBA? Oh, God. Some of these refs suck. But give me the best one, dog. Give us the best ref, so there's no excuses. You're the guy that a lot of people in the scene say, look, this guy's got a lot about him, could transition over to pro boxing. Is that in the career for you? Uh, yeah, bro, shit, well, wherever it take me, bro, I feel like after this, I might have to fuck around and fight Thanos or, or Miles Morales or somebody, because after this, who gonna, who gonna wanna fuck with me next? Take? I mean, shit, give me whoever, bro, I'm with, whatever, I'm with all the smoke. If you want it, anybody can get it. Mexicans, Americans, Dominicans, anybody can get it. <laughs> feel like Adrian Brown in there, love a little bit of that. Let me get your thoughts on a couple of final things I'll let you go. First of all, KSI versus Fury, your prediction. KSI, Fury, I got uh, KSI, that forehead, he got the mega mind. I think he's gonna pull it through and he got that dog in him and he the underdog, so I'm gonna go with JJ. Yeah, he got bit heated yesterday, did you see it between KSI and the Fury family? He spat on him and everything. That shit was that shit was lit. But that's what we need, entertainment, bro. It's it's I love I love it. I fucking love it, bro. That's what we're here for, bro. You here to be quiet, nigga, don't be on the card, nigga. Go sit in the stands and watch the fight. You dig? If you ain't here to entertain, get the fuck off this card, bro. You don't deserve to be on this card if you don't entertain, bro. Dylan Dennis is Logan Paul. Uh damn, I love Dylan, man, but I got Logan. I'm not even a like I, I got Logan is just more athletic, bro. So I gotta go, Logan. If anyone tried that with you, what Dylan's done with Nina, what would your reaction be if they did that to your girl? Uh, I, I just wouldn't marry a girl like that, straight like that. Uh, I just wouldn't put myself in that position to have, because your girl's representation of you. So especially if you're trying to marry her. Oh God, yeah. That, oh man. Uh, yeah, bro. So just make sure this y'all learn from this and make sure you, you choose the right woman, man. Dean the Great DTG, live the final word with you. What happens on Saturday night? Saturday night, I'm not gonna lead the fuck out. He's gonna be ass up, face down, or his, or his, or he gonna fall out the ring. It's gonna be either one of those knockouts. So have the motherfucking ambulance on standby. Looking forward to seeing the fight. Cheers, bro.